Hello and welcome back to some more Hitman 2. This is the bonus missions of the game. Last episode we finished off uh, the game with the Ark Society. And today we have got the Golden handsh Handshake, then the Last Resort. Really looking forward to these. I've never played these, so this is a complete blind walkthrough for me. Uh, and we'll have some fun, of course, trying to do Silent Assassin. Hitman is out tomorrow. I'm hoping to get my copy today. It was posted yesterday, so I'm really hoping it comes uh, so I can get some content out to you guys tonight. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be a full Silent Assassin walkthrough of Hitman 3. But uh, I thought to, to bide us over until those wonderful moments, let's play the bonus missions. Right, so we have got uh, a brief in here, so let's have a little look. Three families. That's all it took. The Ingrams, the Carlisles, the Stuyvesants. Tell us everything about them. The ivory towers are about to fall. And when we're done... Let's cross that bridge when we get to it. For now, the partners are all that matter. There's an issue. Of course there is. Olivia's tracked the names mentioned by the Constant, and they're dead ends. How dead? Obituaries for all three have appeared online. Accidental death, heart failure, lung cancer. They're covering their tracks. Faster than I thought. A contingency plan of sorts. The Constant wasn't aware of it. Well, it seems they didn't tell him everything after all. Something this big will leave traces behind. The Constant says to follow the money. Milton Fitzpatrick. The investment bank. It's a key Providence asset. Which you worked for. The director of the New York branch is a Providence operative. It's our best bet as a way in. I'll tell the pilot to turn the plane around. Right, gentlemen. Here's what we've come up with. The partners are transitioning between identities. But everything is so recent, the Milton Fitzpatrick bank records will still be intact. We've confirmed that the partners have active accounts there. However, the bank's records are remotely updated on a frequent basis. We may only have hours before any leads that could get us the new identities of the partners are gone forever. The data we need can be obtained in two ways. The bank's data core can be accessed through the basement vault, but getting inside the vault could be challenging. Alternatively, bank director Athena Savalas, head of security Mateo Perez, and head of accounts Fabian Mann each carry a partial backup drive with the data. We'll need all three drives to get the full data. Now, we cannot risk the partners discovering the data breach. Eliminating the bank's director, Athena Savalas, would sever the last remaining Providence tie to the bank and keep our activities hidden. Okay, one more time. We break into the vault, extract the hard drive rack, and eliminate the director on the way out. We. You. Good luck, 47. Wow, I'm super excited for this. This is actually proper story. It takes place just after um, the ending of Hitman 2. So this this is genuinely uh, part of the story now. We will smuggle in an item. It's in New York. It's in a bank. It's going to be amazing. Actually, we can't do any of these, which is a shame. Um, so that's, that's absolutely fine. Uh, we will, of course, switch that to the Silver Baller. And I might... I might change me fiber wire to the lock pick. Oh no! Oh no, we can. There we go. Uh, let's get the lock pick in there. Uh, and we'll wear the New Yorker. What a cool outfit that is. Let's get into the action. This is exciting. And we're going to play both of the bonus missions in this video uh, to make sure that we are all ready for Hitman 3 when that drops tomorrow. 
So here we go. Welcome to New York, 47. The Milton Fitzpatrick Bank is open for business, but it seems there's some sort of investigation underway. Expect increased security. Your target, Director Athena Savalas, can be found in her top floor office, overlooking the iconic Teller Hall. Head of security, Mateo Perez, is roaming between the vault area and the Teller Hall, talking to employees. And head of accounts, Fabian Mann, can be found on the investment banker floor and the top floor of the bank, driving the internal investigation. Remember, we need to secure the data from the bank's reinforced vault, or, alternatively, acquire three hard drives carried by the director and her two lieutenants, Mann and Perez. Good luck, 47. Here we go, then. So, what are we going to do? Sorry, but running very dapper. <laughs> uh, it'll be interesting to see if there are any sort of mission stories. I presume it is just a full full mission. I didn't even know these things existed until fairly recently. Hello there, sir. Um, but I did buy the 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 gold edition. Can we go in here? We can. What did you see? Well, there's cameras everywhere, heavy security everywhere. A lot of frisk kids leading down to the basement. Yeah. Could you buzz off? Disguised as a bank robber. Oh, well, there you go. Not to worry either. But I am. So they're bank robbers. Well, I'll be fine. I hope so. Okay, let's keep going. Want to stay away from the cameras. Um, don't we can go this way. Hey, love the suit. Classic cut. But this is a restricted area. Sorry. Might be able to go that way. But how can we get into the vault? Let no letter opener there. That's fine. Say, aren't you Ruby Red, the investigative reporter? I loved your expose on the much talk data abuse. I mean, wow. Jason Portman must hate you. <laughs> so, um, what are you working on now? I'm sorry? I don't know what you're talking about. My name's Tina. Tina Smith? I work in insurance right undercover are we no no I'm just not who you think I am sir now please leave me alone or I'll be forced to alert security oh I'm I'm sorry uh, it's just you really look like her um, well have a good day Ruby red famous muckraking investigative journalist is in the bank Known for her fierce skills at digging up dirt and her excellent nose for scandal, she's definitely up to something. Might be worth following her around the bank, 47. Okay. Can we go in here? Sir, if you want to come through, I'm going to have to pat you down. Okay. We will have to drop our weapon maybe in here. Right. Tight ship today. Understood. Nice day, huh? Then sir, I'm sir, well, you can't be happy, here. Sir. Looks like yeah. a normal day. And stay out. Of course, it's not, right? What's that? Okay. Well, thank you, sir. You know the incident. This. Uh, Can I ask? It'll be over in no time. How bad is it? Did they did they empty the vault? Are you an imbecile? Good. You are clean and good to go. This is the vault, 47. The data core should be behind that large steel door. Okay, what can we do? Okay, so 
an antique curved knife. Hmm. The vault looks even more fortified than we feared. If I'm not mistaken, only high-tier security is allowed in here. Access seems to be restricted to the use of a keycard of some sort. Hang on. There's a similar security hub on the second floor. You might be able to acquire what you need there. Okay, so let's have a little look in here. There's a gold bar. Nice. A Frabagé egg. There's nothing unusual here. You know, I'm not really an investigator, so the finer points might slip by me. If you want to make sure, maybe get one of Mr. Man's A notice from the bank's head of security mentions that the building suffers from unstable Wi-Fi. If the connection fails, IT have full access to the director's office and computer. Hmm. Sounds useful, 47. Sounds good to me. Okay, so we're in. Okay, he's down. Took both of these down. Might as well have a little look over here. Anything of interest? Cheeseburger. 
Oh, we get one of them. Right. Just gonna see what's down here. Water they threw at me. How? How could she do this? I can't be fired. How are you doing? Finally. I hope you have good problem-solving skills. I'm known to be the best. <laughs> you better be. The director's a uh, handful. Squad laid Finally, what someone manages to drag themselves Mr. Man, from the IT dungeon. Now listen to me carefully. I don't want to hear any excuses. I was told Please back off, Mr. Man. Finally, has someone manages to the drag the themselves from the IT dungeon. Now listen to me carefully. I don't want to hear any excuses or uh, excuse me. I don't want to smell like your Bologna sandwich lunch for the rest of my day. Finally, someone manages to drag themselves from the IT dungeon. Now listen to me carefully. I don't want to hear any excuses or answer any questions. Just fix my computer and get out. Need to talk to Fabian about dropping those features. Nothing here. Investing in the middle class is so last century. Ah, man, this is such a drag. I'll get back to it later. Forty-seven. That's Fabian Mann. Head of accounts at this branch of Milton Fitzpatrick. He should have part of the backup data core on his person. Copy command. Still looking. No sign of the car.
Okay, so we've pressed the fire alarm because I've noticed this. We're in position. In turn over this. Roger that. And hopefully we can do something now with that. Okay, now she's heading towards the window. Yes, yes, this is what I wanted. Regular customers. Ridiculous. There you go. Nice. Lovely. That is what you call an accident kill. Director Savalas eliminated. Good work, 47. And now, let's go and get the vault code. I think we've got enough information on us that we can. We've got the we've got the key card. I think we can head in there. I feel like giving a bit woman a piece of her. Hey, what? So, let's head there. Let's just see our handiwork. Well, they've already uh, removed her by the looks of it. That was quick. I got rid of her body very, very quickly. Okay. So we'll head down this way. So I think what we want to do is set off the distractions in here so that we can get into the vault. I need a crowbar. How annoying. I assume I can't get, just get in. Hmm. Can we go in here? No. Where can we get a crowbar? Or should we just take his disguise? Maybe we should. Can we go in here now? Yes, we can. I want to see what's in these safety deposit boxes. having to get rid of these guys because I think they would end up getting suspicious of us. So maybe not.
Okay. How are we gonna do this then? Missing key card. Okay, let's see what happens. I think we're okay. We're in. Great work, 47. You now have access to the vault. Good work, 47. That's nice. the evidence secured for now. Careful not to lose it. If anyone sees you with that rack, my guess is you'll draw a lot of unwanted attention to yourself. That's the last objective completed. Exfiltrate the bank, 47. Miss Hall will want to have a close look at that data. Okay, so we need to get out of here. But nice and stealth-like. Have a look around for that key. I feel like it might be around here somewhere. Okay, what's that? Money transport key. Maybe that's it. Maybe that. That's it. Shall we get try and get out of here? It would be awesome if that was it. Let's pick this up again. Yes! Here we go. Nice. Well, that was a thoroughly enjoyable mission. Really enjoyed that. Sand Assassin, of course. And plenty of the challenges completed. Which is nice. Let's 
So you got five stars, Silent Assassin. That's what we like to see. So there's lots of other things you can do. Okay. Let's skip and move on to the next one. Olivia has found something interesting. I'll tell you on the way. Where are we going? To Paradise, 47. To be continued. Let's move on to the last resort, final mission of Hitman 2. So, this is paradise. If you can afford. Gentlemen, glad to hear you made it out of New York. Where are we? Olivia decrypted the Data 47 recovered from the bank. We isolated three transactions from Providence partner accounts. All made out to Haven, a small corporation operating out of the Maldives. And what does Haven do? To the public, they specialize in reputation management for the rich and famous. The real money, however, comes from the covert reconstruction of identities for wealthy criminals. They make people disappear. The partners are using Haven to acquire new identities. Yes, Olivia's been attempting to hack the Haven servers, but the owners of Haven are manually resetting the access keys every 10 hours. That, unfortunately, makes them targets. Haven Island is a true tropical paradise. Owned by the company's founder, Tyson Williams, the island is used by Haven as a combined headquarters and client entertainment center. Current and potential clients are ferried to the island and treated to the very best the Maldives have to offer. Michelin star chefs, a full massage spa, private huts, exercise facilities, and all the comforts of a luxury island resort are made available to them. We will be sending you in as a potential new client. We've put together a convincing cover story. You're Mr. Reaper, a thief for hire looking to disappear for a while. Your mission on the island is simple. You need to eliminate the three owners of Haven. Tyson Williams, founder and rumored tyrannical CEO of Haven. Ludmilla Vitrova, a former confidence artist hired by Williams to serve as a client recruiter and handler. And Stephen Bradley, technical wizard and the brains behind Haven's proprietary software platform. With the owners gone, Olivia will be able to penetrate the Haven servers long enough for her to secure the new partner identities. I've uploaded all the information we have on the island and the three targets. Best of luck, gentlemen. Hmm. I don't rely on luck. Well, a little wouldn't hurt. Three targets, eh? <laughs> this is going to be a hard one, isn't it? Right. Here's our planning phase then. Uh, Tropical Island. I think Signature Suti was wearing that. There. We'll have the Silver Ball, of course. Can we smuggle anything in? Unfortunately not. Uh, instead of the fibre wire, um, we do have the electronic key hacker times three hmm. 
I think the lockpick's more useful. So let's get into it. Welcome to the Maldives, 47. The Haven Island staff is ready to receive you under your assumed identity as Tobias Reaper, a professional thief looking to retire from a life of crime. Ludmilla Vitrova can be found in the public sections of the island, primarily tending to client needs. Stephen Bradley alternates between looking after a strict training regimen and working on a small private island. While Tyson Williams roams his large villa estate at the back of the island. This is it, 47. Eliminating the three owners of Haven should buy Miss Hall the time needed to do a full penetration and retrieval of the Providence partner data. Best of luck, 47. Here we go then. Well, there's her straight away. That is Ludmila Vitrova, English-born former confidence artist of Russian descent and current client handler for Haven. Careful with Thank you. 47. Are you one of the owners? Yes, indeed. I'm Ludmila Vitrova, co-owner of Haven, and your gracious host for this day. I s uh, can I help you? You're kind of inside my personal space. <laughs> yes, indeed. I'm Ludmila Vitrova, co-owner of Haven, and your gracious host for this day. I suspect we'll be seeing more of each other today. Oh, I'm sure of that, Miss Vitrova. Wonderful. Your late booking has me intrigued. In the meantime, our staff will take good care of your needs. Thank you, Miss Vitrova. Come find me when you're ready, Mr. Reaper. I think we have lots to talk about. If you haven't been to your hut yet, I highly recommend it. There's a letter there for you, which you may find interesting. Thank you, Miss Vitrova. Okay, nice. All right. Tyson Williams has summoned a doctor to the island. He must be feeling under the weather. You have some experience with pain relief, 47. Maybe you could be of assistance? Okay, cool. How's he not no. spotted us? It's nothing. So those two are down. 
Have to be very quick about that. Okay. Nice. Right. Why don't we conceal our pistol in there? And we'll pick it up. And head. Well, we need to get escorted to Williams's room. Presumably they won't search our briefcase, but... Who knows? But this could be a, a fairly quick first kill. Guess we're just going to have to run with it. This is a beautiful map. Okay, there's him running over there. All right, let's see what we got. Sorry, I, I gotta, I gotta frisk you first. I'm afraid. If you wanna pass through, I gotta pat you down. Okay, so apparently you couldn't take the, the briefcase yeah, through, that's a shame. Just like the movies, right? Thank you for your patience, sir. Okay, so we're in. in paradise. Someone stolen a USB from Tyson Williams, and now the entire security squad is looking for it. Perhaps you should look closer at those security tapes, 47. No, I like the, I like the doc, doctor one. I'm the doctor. Yes, well, I guessed as much. Follow me to Mr. Williams' room, please, and don't touch anything. We're cleaning the house today. Okay. Hurry up. He suits being a doctor. <laughs> Always reminds me of that mission in uh, Blood Money, where you go to the Excellent asylum. I hope you can offer the man some assistance. Please wait here, doctor. I'm sure Mr. Williams will be along shortly. Okay, cool. Sit down, the butler's still here though. Medical cabinet key. Dr. Singh. Who the hell are you? Dr. Singh is tired. Long night. He asked me to fill in. I knew I shouldn't have allowed him to bring that mistress of his here. I'm running a bad fever here, Doc. Burning up. I can't go outside. I can hardly stay inside. It started about ten days ago. Singh gave me those pills over there, but they aren't helping. They just give me a migraine. I think I need something stronger here, Doc. Remove your robe, please. I want to check your breathing. I don't like how the butler's there. Uh... Can, can the butler leave?
So, you're running a fever, Mr. Williams? Yeah, like I said, more than a week now, but the worst thing is the headache. Bad migraine, Doc. The light therapy doesn't help me a lot. What can you do for me? You're not taking your medicine? The pills give me headaches. I have important work to do. Let's have a quick look at you before we do anything <laughs> drastic. Mr. Williams. Fine, fine. Cough, please. <coughs> Look, tell it to me straight, Doc. Is it bad? I got some very serious business to attend to, and I really don't have time for this shit. We'll be done soon. Turn around for me. Can't you do anything to strangle this cough, Doc? I have a few <laughs> ideas, Mr. Williams. I just, I just feel like that butler shouldn't be there. All right, what's the verdict? All right, I'm gonna take out this butler because otherwise, because otherwise we're gonna get. Uh, Spotted when we take out Williams, so we'll take him out. Wait, you're not Dr. Good afternoon, Singh. sir. Who the hell are you? Dr. Singh is tired. Long night. He asked me to fill in. I knew I shouldn't have allowed him to bring that mistress of his here. I'm running a bad fever here, Doc. Burning up. I can't go outside. I can hardly stay inside. It started about ten days ago. Singh gave me those pills over there, but they aren't helping. They just give me a migraine. I think I need something stronger here, Doc. Remove your robe, please. I want to check your breathing. Lost. Okay. Tyson Williams eliminated. Excellent work, forty seven. Two targets remaining. Got an opportunity now to look around the house a little bit. It's looking rather inviting. Good today, sir. Okay, I'll just have a good check that there's nothing else of need here. There isn't. Okay, cool. How's this our hut? Oh, oh, you haven't picked up your key yet. Well, simply just go to the welcome center and 
Make it up. They are expecting you, Mr. Reaper. Okay. Alright, let's go and get that then. <coughs> Pardon me. Mr. Reaper, welcome to Haven. Here is the key for your personal hut. Um, it's the one behind you on the right. Oh, and Miss Vitrova asked me to tell you that she has left a personal message for you in your hut. Have a good day, sir. Okay. Is there anything we can do with them around here? Maybe not. Why don't we go and... That is Stephen Bradley, notorious hacker. Chief programmer at Haven, and rumored to be quite reckless in his behavior. Why don't we go and go into our room? Mr. Reaper, oh, welcome. Oh, I'm here at your service, so if there is anything you need, please, don't hesitate to ask. Okay, let's head in then. Pamphlet. Where's the message going to be? A note from Ludmilla Vitrova. I wonder what she wants from you, 47. Regardless, it would be a shame to keep her waiting. Agreed. Miss Vitrova, it's Tobias Reaper. I read your note. Excellent. I reviewed your file prior to your arrival, and I found it very intriguing. I have an offer for you. If you're interested, you can find me over at the restaurant. I'll keep it in mind. Wonderful. I hope to see you there. Okay. I'm tempted to leave our gun in here. Trapdoor, I don't. Okay, could that be a potential escape route? Not entirely sure. Right, let's. Uh, All right, face in. Do it. Let's stick our gun here. Nobody should find that. Right, let's go and see her at the restaurant then. She's over there. This is such a cool map. Really enjoying playing it. it reminds me a lot of Sapienza in terms of the visuals. But yeah, it's really cool that they added extra story missions. Well, what do you know? Well, my, my, my. <laughs> There she is. Mr. Reaper, so good to see you. Fine day, sir. You mentioned an offer. Yes, it's a little embarrassing, but we've had an incident, a theft. The thief is an employee here. A person working in Mr. Williams' villa at the other end of the island. What was stolen? A USB drive containing some sensitive information. Personal information, which I would rather not fall into the hands of others. So, my offer is this. Obtain the USB drive from the thief without alerting anyone at the villa. The thief is likely still there. I can't get you inside, so you'll have to use that particular skill set of yours to gain access. Do that, and I'll convince Mr. Williams to give you a 50% discount on our service fee. That's a million dollars, Mr. Reaper. A generous offer. The information must be valuable. Mostly to me. It's very personal. Please call me as soon as you've recovered it. Very well. I'll call you. Okay. Okay. 
Well, well let's go and get our doctor outfit back, because we know we can get in using the doctor outfit, so... Yeah, let's go and do that. And then, uh, hopefully, we can keep this going. I'm not entirely sure what this will achieve us, but uh, I like I like doing the mission stories. It gives you a little bit more depth to the characters and the location. So let's get ourselves in here. Get ourselves the doctor's outfit. Now let's get out of here. Annoyingly, the villa's the other side of the map. <laughs> but it doesn't desperately matter. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm hoping that we are allowed back in. That's the, the one thing I'm a little bit worried about. Those for the better part of a decade. Yeah, maybe that guy knows who this doctor is. I mean, we've killed Williams, so uh, he was the other one that could have spotted us. But is that her there? No, no. It would have been funny because she told us to use our our skill set. Right. Set in. If you want to come through this way, I'm going to have to do a quick pat down. Okay, so we are allowed back in. My mother always said I had good hands. Said I should have been a surgeon. <laughs> oh, okay, dear. you're all right, fine. Let's Off go. you go. Search for the thief. Oh, is that the key card? Yes, it is. Well, there you go. Nice. That's why it's always worth an explore around. Yeah, let's go and get in before anyone spots us. I mean, we could have followed this guy in. suit. Let's get this on there. Let's get this USB. Have a good day, sir. I'm really not 
in the mood for this. Jeez. Oh yeah. I'm annoying. I think we got him. There we go. Hmm. Alright, hopefully this is a locker we can shove him in. Yes. I assume that oh my god, quick! What? Oh, Oh, that was so quick. Close, sorry. Oh no, it's a coin. That's not even the thief. Aha, uh -huh. that's it. What irresponsible person left a weapon lying around? So I didn't even have to take him out. Right, we need to contact Miss uh, What's Her Face. Get the hell out of here. Let's go and get ourselves our suit back. Okay. And then we'll talk to um, Miss Vitrova. And hopefully, we'll get her on our own. That's the plan, anyway. for a second there. I think we're okay. Right. Weirdly we'd be trespassing on our own property if we if we went past. Right. Here we go then. Our suit. Let's get out of here. And there we go. Right. Now then, let's go and see Miss Vitrova and give her a USB stick back. Miss Vitrova, I've acquired the item you wanted. Wonderful. I knew you were the right man for the job. I could feel it the moment I laid my eyes on you. Should we meet? Yes, absolutely. Come to the spa over by the pool area. Okay. Announce your arrival at the spa. How am I going to do that? I feel, I feel like this is, <laughs> this is a bad idea.
I'm Mr. Reaper. I have an appointment. Ah, yes, Mr. Reaper. You can go right in. Miss Vatrova should be here shortly. Have Maybe a nice she's day. right there. She's right there. Let's get another pamphlet. Why not? Where am I going? Ah, Mr. Reaper. So good to see you again. Follow me, please. Well, let's see where this ends, shall we? Good day. You, leave us. You have the item with you. Can I have it, please? Here you are. Ah, oh, thank you so much, Mr. Reaper. I can't tell you how much this means to me, Mr. Reaper. I'm afraid things aren't quite as serene here as they may seem on the surface. I'm slowly beginning to understand that. Tyson, Mr. Williams. He's not well. He hasn't been I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to save it so we can listen to the story or whatever. And then we'll push her in if we don't get the chance later on. For some time. We used to be together, but his illness. I couldn't take it anymore. I don't know why I'm telling you this. He monitors my every move. I think he asked that girl to steal my information because he wants to, I don't know, punish me? Kill me? Who knows anymore? Sounds hard. You have no idea. I. I sometimes wish he'd just disappear, you know? Vanish from the face of the planet. And then I'd be free. Anyway, I shouldn't bore you with my personal problems. You've been very helpful, and I will honor my promise and make sure that you get the discount. Perhaps we'll see each other at dinner one of these nights. One on one, maybe. One on one sounds ideal. Excellent. Well, if you'll excuse me, I have a few calls I need to make. Good day to you, Mr. Reaper. <laughs> okay, let's go and push her in then. That's what she deserves. But uh, there you go, she's asked 47 on a date. That's probably the only date he's ever been asked on. <laughs> Which one was it? It was this one, wasn't it? Let's push her in. <laughs> I just thought that was interesting uh, to see where, where that storyline was going in. Whether we could see 47 giving her a massage or something, but here we go. Good work, 47. Ludmilla Vitrova has been permanently retired. Just one more yeah. target to go. Now let's go and get Stephen Bradley. Okay, what's this over here? We haven't really been over this part of the island yet. Can you believe that Stephen Bradley guy? How is he even allowed to work here? Well, I'm afraid it's going to be hard to fire him. He's Haven's chief software engineer and one of the owners. He almost killed us. The boat is still out there in the water, sunk. I could have been in there, and all because he wanted to show off on that water scooter of his. What an absolute ass. Yeah, he's not going out again, though. So, Stephen Bradley likes to go on water scooters, but is unable to go out because the scuba instructor confiscated his keys. Shame. Those things are very accident prone. Mm -hmm. I like it. Right. That's it this way then. Retrieve the water scooter keys. How are we going to do that? Oh, suits you, sir. See if we can attract him over here. Huh. 
Oh, so someone should go and see what the hell that was. Okay, I got it. There we go. Nice, Shinichi. Mr. Bradley, are these yours? Dude, I've been looking everywhere for those. You just made my day. I am gonna tear the sea a new one. Thanks, buddy. My right. pleasure. Let's see how well Mr. Bradley controls that water scooter of his. Let's see. I don't know whether we had to sabotage this thing. Or whether it is just going to be an accident, who knows? As long as there's no cameras. Once there's no trespassing, so. Let's watch and, and see. Might as well go and enjoy. Enjoy this water and the sea here. That looks like his jet ski over there. Well, let's watch him. Is he going to die or did we have to fiddle with his thing? pretty thunderous so who knows what's going to happen here well, there he goes to fiddle with it. Right, so we're going to need to get some remote explosives, and I, I do remember getting that from um, from the security room. For some reason, we haven't got them. I must have dropped them somewhere, so we'll have to go and get them back, which is fine. I 
don't know whether we'll get frisked on the way in. Sorry, yeah. I just need to do a quick search if you want to get through. Just routine. And then we can like get our guards stuff, sit back. Well, sure we'll you can get the remote explosives. Stuff. And then. Right, that's it. Fingers crossed, we can go and blow up this guy's jet ski. That's the plan, anyway. So we can go and get our guard suit back. Or our doctor suit. No, there was a guard down here, wasn't there? we took out. We didn't need to take them out, but we did, so we might as well use that to our advantage. It was in there. It's in here. Ah. He's in the cupboard, isn't he? Okay. here. Oops. Probably not the best place to go where there's a load of guards. Right. Don't want to go up there because I believe there is some cameras up that way. Right. So let's get to the security room. over here. That was close. But here they are. Oh, I thought they were over here. Am I wrong? Oh no, there we go. Just get back into our suit and hopefully get the hell out of here. That's the plan. It's been a long one, this. Particularly this last kill. It's been very tough. Fine day, sir. Yeah, I'm hoping he goes back on the jet ski. Maybe we've missed that opportunity, who knows? I hope not. Ah, there he is. We just need to make sure that we do it before anyone spots us. Let's go. He does go scuba diving. Uh, not scuba diving. Jet skiing. But he might not. Who knows?
looks like he's heading out that way. There we go. And then we're going to get the hell out of here and try not to get spotted by any cameras. Right. Wait till he's over here somewhere. Stephen Bradley taken care of. Well done. That's all we need to do from here. Miss Hall should be able to extract the information needed from the Haven servers. Good work, 47. Well, that was an accident kill, apparently. Not certain how much I believe that, but hey ho. Right. Get across here. Far over here as we can. Have a nice day. Right. Let's get out of here. That was a good kill. I enjoyed that. A really good mission. Uh, I love the first two kills. I think the last one just took a little bit of a while, but once we worked out what we had to do, we managed to do it. Right. Shall we get out of here then? There's no point putting our suit back on really. We'll just get in the speedboat and hit the road jack. The end of Hitman 2! What a fantastic game. Silent Assassin as well, that's what you always want. And you can see how many achievements we've got, which is awesome. There you go, 47,000 XP and a 5 star rating. Brilliant. Let's see how much XP we get for that. <laughs> We're still going. Still going. Crazy. 109 is our level now. And of course, uh, that is it. That is everything. We've completed all the, um, all the, the main missions on Silent Assassin. And we're, we're all ready for Hitman 3, which will be starting very soon on the channel. By the time you're watching this, you probably uh, already have seen the first episode. Let's see the final cutscene before we finish off. your time in paradise productive right we should hear from the others soon we're in whatever your robot did back on the island it worked let's see yeah here we are you found them yeah right here but no wait a minute something's off see here all those controlling shares those are basically the backbone of the providence empire but they're not going to the new partner identities. What do you mean? I mean, they're allocated to someone else. Everything is. The partners are, are left with no real control. Who is Arthur Edwards? Oh no. It's a scare Constant. How did he escape? Message from Olivia. Everything's going to plan. We know where the partners are. 
We have our targets. You're almost there, old friend. Feels... good, doesn't it? We should head out before the storm hits. Time to fulfill our purpose, 47. To take them all down. Well, there you go. I can't believe the constant escaped. That That's incredible. Wow. But there you go. That is it. That is that. Hitman 2 is finished. Uh, so let's exit to main menu. I'm not entirely sure what, if anything, is going to happen here. Uh, I assume it's just going to be some credits. Nope, not even that. There you go. There you have it then. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe for a full silent assassin walkthrough of the Hitman trilogy. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.